Hi, I'm Colin Hayes, and I'm one of the Press Break Applications Engineers here at MC Machinery Systems. And today, we're going to be talking about machine deflection. Specifically, what it is, how it can manifest in your parts, and what you can do about it. So what is machine deflection? Well, simply put, machine deflection is the flex in the machine's frame that occurs when the machine is under a load. Although this deflection can't be seen by the naked eye while bending, it is visible in the finished workpiece, usually resulting in a bow or canoe effect in the part. In the long run, when this deflection is not compensated for, it results in scrap parts, poor fitment, and bottlenecks down the process. So what can we do about it? Well, most major manufacturers of press brakes do offer crowning systems on eight foot or larger machines. Some of these systems are static, while others are more dynamic, and some are even CNC controlled. So it's fair to say they're not all created equal, but their goal is the same, to push back against these forces generated by the machine and to compensate for the deflection so it's not seen in the workpiece. On older machines, or machines with inadequate crowning systems, this would mean the operator doing manual, uh, intensive setups, shimming underneath the die beds, and making sure that part comes out correct. And then once that run of parts is complete, they will have to, again, run through the process of shimming underneath the tooling as needed for that workpiece with that particular tool set. On our BH series machines, we do this with our micro wedge crowning system. If we could take off the top of the table on this press break, we would see that the system is composed with a series of segmented wedges. These wedges vary in location and size based on size and spec of the machine. Using multiple sets of machined wedges allows each pair to take on various shapes. This allows for off-center bending and much finer adjustment than on typical crowning systems. Taking a closer look, you'll notice that before the wedges are positioned for the next bend, the top of the table will lift, removing any stress from the weight of the tooling and the holders, allowing the wedges to move freely. This is done with two hydraulic hoses that run the full length of the machine, front and back, and when the adjustment is completed, the table is then lowered back down to make contact with the wedges, completing the adjustment for the next bend. So what does this all mean? This means that our machine takes into account where on the table the operator is forming. And with the multi-wedge system, it's able to apply that compensation exactly where it's needed. What's more is that adjustments can be made on the fly with simply inputting the degree of correction required. In the end, this deflection needs to be compensated for. Whether that's shimming under a die bed or the hammer after it was formed on an inadequate crowning system, the quicker the deflection can be accounted for, and the more accurately it can be applied, makes all the difference for the operator to be able to keep up with their production goal. All right, guys, that's it for me. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next one.